What's up, family? All right, so Ivanka Trump. Y'all yeah, know Ivanka. Donald Trump's side piece. I mean, sidekick, you know. Yeah, well, she's managed to piss off the LGBT community. It goes like this. Ivanka Trump just sunk to a new low by ordering a writer for IvankaTrump.com to contact a New York City chef to schedule an interview for her site. The chef, Angela Demayuga, is the executive chef for Mission Chinese Food. The restaurant has locations in both New York City and San Francisco. Demayuga's response to the request has since gone viral. Ivanka's writer told Demayuga she wanted to write a profile on her to help Ivanka site empower women. Before responding to the email, Demayuga consulted activist Shakira Simley. Together, they came up with a brilliant response. The following is an excerpt from the email sent to Demayuga. I would love to conduct an interview via telephone email with you, spotlighting your work as a strong female entrepreneur, wrote A.D. Heyman, a freelance writer who called IvankaTrump.com non-political platform of empowerment for modern working women. This is Demayuga's response. Classic. Hi, Aidy. Thank you for thinking of me. I'm glad you are a fan of my work so much that you want to provide more visibility for my career to inspire other working women. However, I'm for women who actually empower other women. I don't believe that IvankaTrump.com is truly a non-political platform of empowerment for women. So long as the name Trump is involved, it is political and, frankly, an option for the IvankaTrump.com business to make a profit. I don't see anything empowering about defunding Planned Parenthood, barring asylum for women refugees, rolling back safeguards for equal pay, and treating POC LGBT and the communities that support these groups like second class citizens. As a queer person of color and a daughter of immigrant parents, I am not interested in being profiled as an aspirational figure for those that support a brand and a president that slightly disparages female empowerment. Sharing my story with a brand and a family that silences our same voices is futile. Thank you for your consideration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and she also posted it <laughs> to her Twitter. I mean, she posted it to her Instagram account. She got real gangster with it. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. I first say, hey, man, salute uh, Angela Demayuga for standing on principle. I salute her for standing on principle first and foremost. And standing up against the Trump hypocritical machine. Because you know, they love to switch it up. Basically, man, they go with anything that fits their agenda. You know, if I can recall, it was Ivanka Trump and Jerry Kushner, her incompetent husband who led the charge in trying to roll back Obama-era uh, laws that protected gays in the workplace. So now she's about empowering women and gay women, but she was trying to, she trying to roll back the laws that gave them certain protections, but now she wants to highlight a businesswoman who is gay and to basically acknowledge her accomplishments. You see where I'm going with this? I mean, these people are switch it up on you in a heartbeat. I mean, it's like for them, it's whatever fits their agenda. That's how they get down. Remember how Donald Trump started off as a Democrat? Man, he was riding with pro-choice and uh, universal health care and all kind of stuff until he became a Republican, a registered Republican. Then it was anti-this and anti-this and 
anti this and anti this and discriminate against this and that and that. And it was everything you could think. Basically, everything that was despicable, pretty, pretty much everything despicable about, about society. Donald Trump basically ran it on his platform and won. <laughs> I heard some people saying today on a news report, where it was a, where it was a news report, it was, it was an undercover investigation, and they were asking these Trump supporters why they supported him, and most of them couldn't tell you why. They just said, they were saying things like, well, he's just, uh, you know, I don't know, he just says what he, he feels. And then one dude, I saw in another report, this dude, that he asked this one dude what he liked about him. He said, well, He's like Reagan, you know, he's just like Reagan. And he said, well, what about, the guy said, well, what about him that reminds you of Reagan? And he said, well, well, I really don't know a whole lot about Reagan, but, um, you know, I don't know a whole lot about Reagan, but, you know, he, uh, they, they say he got a lot of uh, Reagan's uh, policies and stuff like that. <laughs> then they asked another dude, another dude about why he supported him. And then the dude was like, well, you know, uh, because he has respect for women, respect women. And the dude had a shirt on uh, that was had some comments on it about women. And basically it was disparaging women, you know, had the, the B word on it, all that kind of stuff. So these people just basically do whatever fits their agenda. Uh, now, I was thinking, you know, like. Also, Mike Pence, every time I think about the LGBT community, I wonder why he's not uh, doing more for the community because I'm telling you, man, I saw this picture of Mike Pence. Y'all can look it up. And he had his shirt up and he was leaning with this dude, this, uh, this, this gay guy, and they was all hugged up. Okay, they say it wasn't Mike Pence. They say it wasn't Mike Pence. But damn, boy, it looked just like. I'm talking about this picture. It looked like a Mike Pence you know, 30 years ago. But I'm talking about it looked just like him. They say it was some gay, some gay uh, porn star. But man, I'm talking about spot on. That dude looked just like Mike Pence. Look it up. Yeah, so... I don't know, I'm still baffled by that one. But I think it's Mike Pence, but they say it's not him. I, I, I don't really trust what they say, so I'm pretty much go with what I think it is. I think it's him. They say it's not, but I think that's Mike Pence. And if it is him, he should be more sympathetic toward the LGBT community. Come on out of the closet, man. <laughs> now let's get back over to Ivanka now Ivanka is so much like her dad she just basically do whatever she got to do to get to the money so in the words of your dad Ivanka if anybody out there that know Ivanka Y'all see this video? Show it to her, man. Show it to her, because I need to say this to her. So I'm going to act like you're looking at me right now. Ivanka, in the words of your daddy, your daddy who you have a more than comfortable, close relationship, we seem to have just a little bit more than a daughter-father relationship with, you are one nasty woman. No more talk. 